In ASP.NET Core, the client-side and server-side dependencies are separate. When you incorporate server-side dependencies as far as MVC, Entity Framework, and all the associated libraries, you incorporate this with a NuGet Package Manager. Inside of a scaffolded ASP.NET Core application for client-side dependencies like jQuery, AngularJS, Bootstrap, they are associated with different package managers like Bower and Gulp. Bower is a package manager for the web. It allows you to install different framework libraries such as jQuery and AngularJS and Bootstrap. You have a task manager such as Gulp that allows you to minify JS and CSS files. Or if you have SAS and LESS files, it allows you to automatically compilate those into CSS files. I'm going to demonstrate how to install Gulp and Bower, and then we're going to analyze this in our ASP.NET Core application. So the first item that I'm going to install here is I have the node.js command line. I'm going to put npm install dash dash global gulp cli. This is going to install gulp on my Windows machine. The only difference is if you have a Mac OS X or Linux, you would put sudo in front of the installation so that it gives it administrative rights for the local user. Let gulp install on my device. Give it a second. And then once we install gulp, let's go ahead and install Bower. So we're going to type now npm install g for global Bower. It's going to install Bower using node.js. Remember, Bower and Gulp are not necessary in an ASP.NET Core application, but it's very important to utilize these different modern web application techniques, utilizing task runner tools, which automate the routine and development task and more. Like I stated before, you can compile coffee scripts, type scripts, less and SAS, and bundle and minify your JavaScript and CSS files. It's very important to utilize these different package managers that are out there on the web. Give it a second while Bower installs. Now once we have Bower installed, let's go ahead and close out our node.js command prompt. Let's go to our Visual Studio project. You can see we have a Bower and Gulp file associated inside of our project. Let's take a look at Gulp first. Gulp is a JavaScript base streaming build toolkit for client-side code. It is commonly used to stream client-side files through a series of processes when a specific event is triggered in a building environment. To sum it up in a nutshell, Gulp is used to run tasks. It performs a lot of different automation techniques associated in your application. So when you create an ASP.NET Core application, you can always put in the root file a gulp file.js and you can see right here, we have a variable named gulp that's requiring gulp to use in this file. The paths for minification, the different tasks you see right here associated in this variable gulp is first requiring gulp, which stream builds the system. And then you have rimraf, what actually is a node deletion module. You have gulp concatenate, which will concatenate files based on operating systems new line character. You have the gulp CSS min, which is a module that minifies CSS. And then you have a module that minifies JS, which is gulp uglify. And you can see the second variable associated here is var pass, which is saying go to the www root associated right here in our application. And then we're going to associate those paths with this. And then we're going to concatenate to that the JS files, the minified JS and we're concatenating those values to associate our minification process inside of the www root folder. Now what's associated with this, if we go to package.json, we see right here our dev dependencies associated with gulp, gulp concatenate, gulp css min, gulp uglify, and rimraf. The dev dependency section of the package.json file specifies the development time dependencies to install. These dependencies are not deployed with the application. You can add new packages and save the file. So right here, it brings in and associates these dev dependencies. And then we can 
minify and associate our JavaScript in our www root folder. We can always run task pointing to the www root folder. So this is gulp, and this is how we would utilize gulp. And in subsequent lectures, we'll actually build our own gulp file. Let's go ahead and look at our bower.json file. Bower is a package manager for the web. Bower lets you install and restore client-side packages including JavaScript and CSS libraries. You can use Bower to install CSS files, font, client-side frameworks, and JavaScript libraries from external sources. So let's go ahead and look at our Bower file. In the Bower.json, you will see right here the name ASP.NET, private, true, and you'll see all the different dependencies that we are installing in our application. You'll notice this little arrow right here, dot bower rec file right here, and it's saying point it to www root slash lib. And if you look at www root slash lib, this is gonna have all of the packages in our application. You can see bootstrap, jQuery, jQuery validation, validation unobtrusive. So all of our bower packages are gonna be associated in the library folder. I'm gonna show you how this works. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a client-side package library to this application. So I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a library that I want to associate in my package. So let's look at Angular JS. So let's go Angular right here. Let's put our semicolon there. And then it's going to associate which version do we want? Do we want 1.53, which is the latest stable version? Do we want the most recent major version? Do we want one that matches the most recent version of AngularJS? Let's go ahead and pick 1.53 and let's save this. And before I save this, I want you to look at the library folder right here. And you'll see right here, look what it's doing. It's going out to GitHub to get AngularJS inside of our application. And as you see right there, if we open it up, it's in the library folder, the lib folder. And when we open this, we see all of the items associated. We have our Angular.js. We have the minified version associated with that. We have index.js. So it pulls in the library to associate inside of our www root folder, which then we can incorporate and link to our different static files or in our layout views in our MVC model view controller setup. So as you can see right there, we pulled in AngularJS. Now let's go ahead and take this out real quick. And let's save that. And once we save that, you'll see that it still stays there. So in this case, it doesn't remove it, but we can go over here and we can delete it. And we can get it out of our package library to associate it with that. Another item that you can implement here is you can right click your project and then you can manage the NuGet packages or the Bower packages right here or we can restore all the packages associated in our application too. So that's another way to implement it. But let's go over here, right click, and let's click Manage Bower Packages. And right there, we can also search any library we want. So if we want Font Awesome, we can install Font Awesome, and it will install that inside of our package dependencies. So it's restoring the dependencies here. It's associating in our Bower dependencies packages. So give it a second while it installs this. So this is all going in the dependencies associated with our Bower packages. So now we have Bower here. We have npm to associate with our gulp file. We have our Bower dependency right here to associate what client side libraries we are going to associate in our www root folder right here. And as you can see, we added font awesome to that. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's save that. You can see font awesome was added for us right there. Let's say I want to get rid of Font Awesome. Let's save that. And then let's rebuild this. Let's restore the packages. Let's go ahead and delete this. Uninstall package. This will go ahead and get rid of that. As you can see, it's not in our library folder in our www root folder anymore. Just remember, Bower is associated with managing client-side packages such as Bootstrap, jQuery, jQuery Validation, AngularJS, all the different client-side packages that are out there on the web. You can install them using Bower. Remember, Gulp is a task runner, and its main purpose is to 
enhanced tasks such as minifying CSS and JavaScript on your client side, concatenating files together. Gulp is very important to implement SAS and LESS, which is associated in your application to compile those files into CSS. You can also utilize Gulp to compile out your TypeScript files into JavaScript files. So this is Bower and this is Gulp. They aren't necessary inside of your web project. These two client-side dependencies are very important to implement and manage your client-side packages and to create an efficient environment for you to develop, whether you're building your server-side assemblies and your server-side dependencies and separating them out from your client-side dependencies so that your repository is not going into one place. They are separated into two different elements associated with client-side and server-side. I want to thank you for joining me in this lecture. Have a nice day.